Hey guys, welcome to day 11 of the Fit Boss training. Um, I know that Stephanie gave you some really awesome ideas on how to post on social media, what to post on social media. Um, and today I'm going to kind of tell you what to do next. So, okay, you're you're posting on social media, great. Um, maybe you've even, like it's a really good idea that um, for if pe when people comment on your posts that you comment back underneath. It makes your post pop up again for people to see. But it's also just one more way for you to kind of sprinkle your story, sprinkle just you. Um, you can show people how you support people. You can show them um, just more of your story. So it's kind of a cool way to go. But from there, you want to go back to those posts that you have done, especially the ones that have been about health and fitness, and make a list of all the people that have liked and commented on your posts. And then slowly, you want to start to connect with them. Um, I always make sure to send them a Facebook message and thank them. We say like, you know, hey girl, I saw that you posted on my transformation post last week. Um, I just wanted to thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And then depending on who this person is, if I know this person, I might kind of ask them about something that's going on in their life um, or I might kind of go to their Facebook page before I, I message them. Um, I might say like, hey, I noticed that you... Um, are going to the gym, you know, or whatever, and say, like, what health and fitness goals are you working on right now? Um, it's always a good idea to ask them what their health and fitness goals are, and that may not be something that you do right away. You may need to just have a, a normal conversation, getting to know them, connecting on things before you get to the point where you can ask them what their health and fitness goals are, but that's eventually your goal. Or your goal is to invite them to a free group or to a challenge group. But you need to build that trust and relationship first. You are just simply talking to these people. And if they bring up your journey or Beachbody or whatever, that's great. That gives you the green light to, to go ahead and talk about it earlier than you normally would. But if they're not bringing it up, give them the time and the opportunity to get to know you first before you do invite them. Otherwise, you come across as being, you know, kind of salesy or um, maybe pressuring them into something they don't want to do. Um, our goal in this business is honestly to build relationships. Um, we're not talking to people with the intent of, ooh, maybe they'll buy a challenge pack. That's not what it's about. Um, Another thing you can do is as you are adding new friends to your network, you want to be going to their Facebook pages and interacting with their pages. So liking some of their posts, even commenting on their posts um, so that they're kind of seeing you in a different way and they start to like think of you more. They start to associate you with certain things and it's just one more way to get to know them. Um, and another thing you want to do is use the script. Um, when you start to talk to people about their health and fitness goals, the script has all of the right questions that you want to be asking them. And it shows you exactly how you can guide them to their perfect program and how you can talk about Shakeology without word vomiting all over them. Um, the problem with us be being so passionate about all of this stuff is that we, we risk the event of just like throwing up with words all over them. Um, we're so excited. We want to tell them every single feeling that we're feeling and how Shakeology makes us feel and why it's so amazing. And you just can't do that. When you're talking to someone, short and sweet is key and then ending every single message with a question so that they are constantly writing back. You want to be more interested than interesting. Okay? Asking more questions, putting them first. Um, and then 
you want to keep in mind that this is a process. If you're talking to people for the first time, please don't expect them to sign up for your challenge group that month or even the next month. It has been proven that people need to hear things um, up to six times before they will actually take action on it. Um, and this momentum takes a while to build up. So please don't get discouraged in your first couple months if you're not having all of these overwhelming people signing up. Um, I am finally to a point in my business where I can consistently hit my goals because I've been talking to people for months and months and months. I have people following me on Facebook that I don't even know they're following me. I've had people who are trying to like build up their trust in me and see if I'm consistent, see if I'm going to show up every day. If they don't message me back, you better, you know, bet your buns that I'm going to be messaging them within two weeks or a month. I'm not going to give up on people. I'm not going to let people fall through the cracks. Um, so make sure that you're showing people that you're in this to really support them. Just because someone doesn't write you back doesn't mean they don't like you. It doesn't mean they're not interested. It can mean a million things. But what you need to do is have the, the perseverance to keep checking in with them. Keep asking them how they're doing. Keep asking them what's new. Um, finding ways to connect with them even if they're not writing you back. Okay? That's, that's one of my biggest um, tips. Is that, I mean, some people just don't want to tell you no yet. So they don't, they don't write you back. Doesn't mean they're not interested. Just means they're not ready yet. Okay? So um, please use the script. Please keep it short and sweet. Keep that running list of people who are liking and commenting on your posts because that is a huge way of having a reason to connect with people. Okay? All right. I'm excited for you guys. What are you going to take from this video and apply today? Remember, you can listen to these videos all you want, but you have to take action. Have a great day.